This video is about multiple sclerosis, which is abbreviated MS. MS is a chronic autoimmune disease and the most common disabling CNS disease of young adults. The peak onset is about the 30th year of life and women are more frequently affected than men. The etiology is unknown, but viral and autoimmune mediated as well as genetic causes are being discussed. The symptoms are very variable. The initial symptom might be an impaired or double vision due to acute optic neuritis. Also weakness, numbness and tingling at gait disturbance as well as cranial nerve palsies might be symptoms that may occur in course of the disease. While about half of the patients is not severely, severely affected at the beginning of the disease, the majority shows a protected course with relapsing disease and progression of deficits. The best imaging tool is MRI. Here you see multiple perpendicular callosoceptal T2 and flare hyperintensities, sometimes with characteristic perivenular extension, which are called dorsum fingers. Here you see the mentioned bright lesions periventricular on the T2 images in the brainstem also, as well as in the white matter. And also on the flare sequence, you see these faintly periventricular bright lesions. Next is a very common periventricular location. You often find an involvement of the subcortical U fibers as well as brainstem and spinal cord. In the T1 weighted image, the lesions are typically isointense or hypointense, the latter corresponding to black holes due to axonal destruction. After contrast application, some of the lesions may show a transient nodular or ring enhancement due to active demyelination, which normally disappears within six months. In the diffusion weighted imaging, the lesions are often bright in the ADC map and may also show a bright signal on the B1000 image corresponding to a T2 shine through effect. In rare cases, some lesions can show a restricted diffusion. Here you have a surgical image through the brain where you see the corpus callosum with bright lesions, which is very characteristic for the MS, as well as the already mentioned dorsum fingers, also bright lesions, which are of periventricular distribution. In order to make the diagnosis, the lesions have to fulfill the 2010 revised McDonald criteria for dissemination in time and space. Dissemination in time means that there are new lesions compared to a former scan, or you have at least one contrast enhancing lesion next to non-enhancing lesions. Dissemination in space means that you have at least two out of four different areas within the central nervous system, which they are periventricular, juxtacortical, infratentorial and spinal. For treatment, there exists a number of drugs that modulate or suppress the immune system and can reduce and shorten the symptomatic episodes so, so that nowadays the majority of patients can lead an almost normal life for a long time. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would be great if you shared, liked or commented it. You are welcome to subscribe my channel for free. Just click here. If you want to watch another of my videos, click here. If you want to go directly to my channel, click here.